toast. Poached. Roast. Woo! <laughs> I'm Alan Gray and I'm Vanessa Scott in my kitchen. I'm going to show you a classic and it could be a breakfast or a supper and it's roasted tomatoes with poached eggs. So here we go. I have some toasted bread and Alan I wonder if you could, I'm not actually going to bother to butter this because we're going to put some olive oil over it. So I've roasted some tomatoes in the oven for about half an hour. You can do them longer, you can do them slower, it depends what sort of finish you want. But they've had a bit of olive oil, a bit of salt and a tiny bit of smoked paprika on them. Because they I think smell that... delicious. Yeah. They do smell delicious. So we're going to cover the toast in that. This is going to be much more healthy without butter, isn't it? I think so. I've given you a hard job there, haven't I? No, no, no. <laughs> Try to get them up with a spoon. So I'm going to poach some eggs now. People get really, really worried about poaching eggs. Number one rule, you need very, very fresh eggs. Luckily, I have my own hen, so I can vouch for the fact that these eggs that I'm about to poach are only literally a day old. But it's really, really important to put something in the water that sets the white. So firstly, if you've got a nice fresh egg, the, the egg will naturally keep together anyway because it's very glutinous. The older the egg gets, the more it starts to splay as you put it in the pan. You'll have noticed that if you fry eggs. So we've got two thirds water to a third white wine vinegar. You could do this with distilled malt vinegar if you want to, but I like to do it with white wine vinegar. It costs pence, so you don't have to worry about the cost. I know we're gonna throw the water away at the end, but you know, get it right, third vinegar. So I'm now gonna just crack the eggs into a tiny, ramekin and I've brought the water to a slow bo boil so you can see bubbles just coming up off the bottom of the pan and I'm just going to drop the egg in and we're going to have two on our toast there we go and my dear hens and then when these eggs are actually poached they will gently travel to the surface of that water and you'll know they're done but generally they take three to four minutes depending on the size of the egg these are bantam eggs so they'll take less so I need to be looking at those in three minutes so while we're waiting for the eggs to poach we're going to put some fresh thyme on the tomatoes just to give that lovely little thymey yeah we've got some straight from the garden and Alan's gonna absolutely strip, just literally strip the leaves from the couldn't stalk. be fresher could it no evening sprinkling of, of thyme over the top. It's surprising the difference, you know, that um, a few fresh herbs from the garden actually make. I think especially with things like tomatoes, they were just, it's just like a marriage made in heaven, isn't it? Is, it? Isn't you it? know, whether yeah. it's basil, whether it, even mint I like with tomatoes, but thyme I think is great. And this could be a classic breakfast dish or a supper dish. Doesn't it look stunning, just as it yeah. is? Yeah. I sometimes serve these on a big wooden platter like this when we've had a big party round for breakfast yeah. and I've done pastries but I've also done a board of those and just covered them with eggs and it just looks great. How smart is that? Having a breakfast party for friends with poached eggs and tomatoes on toast. So the eggs have now come to the top. I'm just going to pull them out with a slotted spoon, let them drain off. And then I've got a clean napkin here. You could use kitchen towel because obviously we don't want to cover vinegary water on top of our tomatoes. That would spoil it slightly. So I'm just going to leave those just for a minute just to drain off. And you can see they've kept together beautifully. And then we'll pull the first one off. That's a practiced hand. I'd be shaking all over the place and probably split them by now. And another one. Fabulous. But ready to serve at the table, Alan. Mm -hmm. I'll let you do the honours. Oh, do I have to puncture them? Just puncture them so they run. And that's how I'd serve them. Because it's nice to see. It's lovely. Uh, do you see 
suddenly the eggs from being two little white blobs are two sunny little smiles. They are. Aren't they? They are. It's absolutely yeah. incredible. And it's so, delicious. And incredibly quick to do. <laughs> it's a messy thing, but... Well, it's crunchy work, Alan. Mmm. Mmm. Heaven. Isn't it lovely? It's such basic food, but it just makes you smile. It's all that sunshine in it as well. Well, the wonderful thing about this is not only is it, you say it's basic, I think I, I would call it sophisticated, rusticated, mm. possibly. Um, but eggs from the garden, tomatoes from the garden. So many people grow tomatoes, so this is a wonderful way to make use of them. Thyme from the garden. Bread, if you make it, if you make your own, if not, go to the bakery. I would urge you to get good bread. Absolutely, um, yeah. So go to a bakery if you can, or the, the better section in your supermarket to buy good bread. It's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, great stuff. Mm. Hey. I don't know how practical this is going to be to eat on camera. Toast. Poached. <laughs> <laughs>